Hi, good morning everyone. Let me share my screen. It's okay. It's already shared. So, like uh, previous classes, like we discussed about some of the configuration interview questions, like real time interview questions, right? So, it's a part of uh, this video. I think second video. This one. Le let's discuss that. So, let's animation. Let's show from beginning. Okay. So. Uh, what is the field track history so what is the field track history what is the track field history so you can call both ways like what is the track history of field or you can call it the field history tracking so while creating the object while creating the object we can enable the field track history so we have checkboxes will be there while creating the object so once we activate the checkbox then we can enable the field tracking history right so once we enable this field check string into the object level so we can drop the all the field changes whenever user change the field value from one value to another value so we can show the history of the field in object history in related list in related list so we have object history uh, uh, section will be there so there we can able to see all the histories whatever user has been changed so we can track each and every field means like if once we enable the field into the object level so we can track the all the fields except like couple of uh, fields like you can say uh, rich text area text area so those kind of fields we can we cannot track like value exactly but we can track uh, that what was the value change i mean that the field has been changed or not we can track those information but exact data we can we cannot track into the uh, rich text area and text area but apart from that we can track every field so this is the field track history so how to rename the tab how to rename the tab so while creating the object after creating the object we can we are able to create the tab right so if you want to change the tab name not object name not object name you need to change the tab name how we are going to change the tab name so tab name will be decided based on the plural label of the custom object right so while creating the object let's say uh, we have doctor and patient right so i'm creating doctor so plural name should be doctors patient and plural label should be patients right similarly here also same thing plural label of the custom object to rename the corresponding object to the detailed page and rename the plural label right so this is the way we can able to change the tab rename how to display multiple columns after clicking on the tab how to display multiple columns after clicking on the tab so we can uh, for this like we have to go with two ways so here we have two options right for option one and option two so any option you can check like let's say i will go with second option so click on setup and create object select corresponding object like, like which object we are going to select multiple columns after the clicking the tab right so i'm going to select one object under so under the search layout so click on the edit which should be object tab move the move the needed fields from available fields to the selected fields click on save so now user able to see the multiple columns so this is the one way and this is the another way if you want to try both ways then we can try it what is the difference between the is blank and is null so most of the interview questions whenever you attend the admin class i mean admin interviews so definitely they will ask this question so what is the difference between is blank and is null so is null works for only data types called like uh, text text field it will work for is null right you can say is null works for only number data type number data type field if we don't populate the value from the number fields it should be written true so is null won't support text data is null won't support text data type fields because text fields never become null okay so is blank so is blank supports both number as well and text as well so if you want to say exactly main difference between the is blank and is null so is blank supports both number and text okay is null should be support only number not for data type so what is the dependent pick list so what is the dependent pick list let's say we'll take one example before going to the uh, definition so let's say we have a 
uh, country and state right so whenever we are going to select country as the india so when when selecting the india we need to display only indian states like okay. ap up telangana tamil nadu tm ts something those kind of states we need to display right so like when selecting the let's say another example like state and district okay while selecting the uh, ap on the pradesh so we need to display some AP districts like Karnul, Kadapa, Tirupati, sorry, Karnul, Kadapa, and Nellur, Chittur, this kind of districts you can select, right? So, similarly, so in some scenarios, we should be able to control the field, one of the field called dependency. So, dependent picklist means we need to, whenever we are going to control the value, control the field, it's nothing but a dependent field from the controlling field. From the controlling field. Okay, so let's say example. Here country is a controlling field and as a uh, US then city is the dependent field. It should be different only US cities as we discussed right same thing. So uh, we can use checkbox data type field while creating the dependent picture also. but note like here checkbox should be always controlling field while creating the checkbox it should be a always controlling field not for dependent field okay. So we can use multi select data type fields also while creating a dependent pick list. Right. So let's say we have a state called AP Andhra Pradesh. So in Andhra Pradesh, we have some different different districts will be there. Right? So that's it. That's an area we can select multi select pick list value. It's a dependent field. Okay. So multi select is uh, should be always dependent, but checkbox should be always controlling field. What is the architecture of Salesforce? What is the architecture of Salesforce? Like MVC, MVC like model view controller. MVC is the architecture of Salesforce, like model view controller. So view is nothing but an interface. View is nothing but an interface like apps, tabs, page layouts, fields, records. This kind of stuff will come under the view controller. Like business logic. Whenever we implementing some logics, right? So this those large this which comes under the controller. So model, it's a database. Whenever which uh, shows the schema like uh, metadata, uh, apps, tabs, fields. So those information will be stored under the database. It's nothing but a model. So this is the architecture of Salesforce means like MVC model view controller. So what is the difference between 15 digit ID and 18 digit ID in Salesforce? So this is also frequently asked question in Hindu perspective. So what is the difference between 15 digit ID and 18 digit ID? Right? So while creating the record or object or field in Salesforce, so Salesforce by default generating one unique ID, right? So this should be appear under the URL set. It should be a, like 15 digit ID, 15 digit, 15 digit ID, and it's a case sensitive. Digit ID and it's a case sensitive okay but when 18 digit will comes under the picture so if you query some existing records right if you query some existing records from the database the api or query to anything it should be written for 18 digit id 18 digit id and it's case sensitive and it's case insensitive so 15 digit id is a case sensitive and 18 digit id is a case insensitive right last three digits of 18 characters it should be like uh, calculation of 15 digit of id based on the first three digits users can identify the object of the record okay so what is the record type for an object for an object the record type should different fields from the different pick list values different page layouts so let's say uh, let's take one example so we have an object called network network is the object name so in that object so i have two record types like prepaid and postpaid right so while selecting the prepaid so i want to display only prepaid fields so while selecting the postpaid so i want to display only postpaid related fields okay this is the way like we can explain to the recruiters so we can take one example and we have to explain this kind of uh, record types okay so what is the difference between the detail page and edit page so these are the all configuration questions only 
okay so what is the difference between detail page and edit page whenever user try to create a new record or edit an existing record user input values for the fields this page is nothing but a edit page what is the edit page whenever user try to create a new record or edit an existing record user can input the values from the field is nothing but a edit page and what is the detailed page so after creating the new record or editing the existing record user can see the information from the record this is nothing but a detailed page okay so what is the out of box functionalities so this also frequently asked questions in salesforce admin entry questions what is the out of the box functionality so within the salesforce standard functionality is nothing but a out of the box functionality so there is no need to code I mean, no need to code so there is no the coding so out of the box functionality means like within the salesforce we can implement that functionality so within the SFDC standard functionality what are the types of tabs so we have three types of tabs custom tabs web tabs and visual four tabs like creating the custom objects or web tabs creating the display the websites and visual four tabs create the display the visual four pages what is the validation rules so in simple term we can say what is the validation rule means like simple term we can say before save the record before save the record validation should be fire simple before save the record validation should be fire like if you want definition means while creating or modifying the record based on the certain conditions we can display on error message top of the page or below of the field what is validation will do what what, what purpose validation will create like you can to throw the one error message on the top of the page or bottom of the field so what are the governor limits so these are the this is this also most important question and frequency asked question also what are the governor limits okay like <clears throat> how many fields you can create an object so 500 bits so this also one governor limit so how many uh, master detail relationship create you can one object two how many lookup relationship you can create in one object 45 lookup uh, look relationships number of rollup summary in fields like 25 fields you can create how many extra ids we can enable for an object seven so this this is the these are the like governor limits if you want to buy hard then you can buy hard if they will ask like what are the governor limits means like we have to say this these are the governor limits for which data type we can enable external ID? <laughs> what are the fields we can enable H external ID? text number auto number and email text number auto number and email and they will ask some different type of question like what are the read only fields in available in salesforce what are the read only fields available in salesforce like auto number formula field and roll up summary auto number formula field and roll up summary so these three fields are the read only fields right what is the list view so list view nothing but like we can configure different different records which with whatever we if you want to, if you want to give right so let's say after clicking the tab so in top of the page we can able to see the list of records like recently view or if you want to create any view so we can display the number of records right if you want to create new view then you can click if you want to go with some different different list views then you can go go and create the new list views like while creating the view so we can give some filter conditions based on the filter conditions we can be able to see the records so what is inline editing on detailed page without clicking on edit button we can edit particular field of field if it is not read only it is nothing but a inline edit okay so how we are going to enable inline editing sorry how we are going to disable inline editing Right. so to enable or disable to enable or disable inline editing following below steps like navigate in the setup customize user interface enable inline editing or if you enable inline editing just you need to disable that you can uncheck the disable right 
what is the queue queue is nothing but like add number of users add number of users we can assign the object to the queue after creating the queue one of the list view automatically created in the objects which is selected automatically for the queue so we can assign this queue as the owner of the records objects which are selected for the queue so basically you can say like queue is nothing but a uh, group number of groups uh, you can add the one single object like uh, you can say add group of users group of users into the uh, object, object to the queue okay so what is a public group here also same like in public groups we can create number of users and after that we can uh, assign the group to the specific uh, specific permission sets or anything somewhere else like we can add set of random users to the public group so we cannot assign public group as a owner of the record in manual sharing sharing rules and list views can use the public groups even permission sets also we can use public groups so what are the assignment rules so basically uh, assignment rules we can use for two objects one should be lead and one should be case object on lead and case objects we are creating the assignment rules whenever any record is submitted for the lead or case specified condition specified condition that assignment rule should be satisfied and that assignment rule should be fired so here one thing we need to remember like while activating the assignment rules like while submitting the lead or case so we need to hit the active checkbox like using assign using active assignment rule this is our checkbox will be there we need to activate that and we need to submit for case or lead so what are the auto response rules same like it should be a lead and case objects we can create the auto response rules whenever any record is submitted or lead case if satisfied the condition to the auto response rule satisfied based on the what we can decide the email format which should be send an auto response what are the escalation rules same like on case object we can create escalation rule based on the priority we can send the escalation mails what is enhanced list view so in list views we can modify multiple records at a time so in list view in list view we can modify multiple records at a time using enhanced list view note to modify multiple records all the records should be along all records should be belong to same record type with the view otherwise we cannot modify otherwise we cannot modify so these are the uh, configurations are most frequently asked questions into the top mnc companies entry questions it's a entry uh, entry questions part two in coming video i, I will going to create one more video like uh, in relationships video and uh, workflow rules and flows different different uh, frequently asked entry questions i will create more videos so this is the part two i will upload one more video called part three and part four and part five okay thanks for watching